we are going to talk about changing standard form numbers into expanded form numbers. Right now I have 4,236 and I'm going to take that standard form and I'm going to expand it. To do that, I start off with the highest place value, which is the thousands, and I have a four in the thousands. So that four in the thousands place is worth 4,000. And I will add it to the value of the next digit. My next digit is a two in the hundreds place. That will be worth 200. Add it to the value of the next digit, a three in the tens place worth 30. And add it to the value of my ones place, which is six. So 4,236 is equal to 4,000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 6 in expanded form. Whenever I start off with a four-digit number, I always want my pattern to go four digits, three digits, two digits, and then one digit. On my next one, 5,083, I'm going to start off by giving the value of the thousands place. That five in the thousands place is worth 5,000 adding it on to the value of the hundreds place. Now I have a zero in the hundreds place. So it's worth nothing, but I still want to put three zeros there so I keep my pattern. That, that allows me to make less mistakes. If I always make sure I keep the pattern, four, three, two, one, if I'm starting off with a four digit number. So I'm going to add it on to the value of the eight, which is in the tens place. So that eight is worth 80 and add the value of the ones place, which is a three. And next one, 3,004. I start off with the largest place value, which is thousands place. I have a three in the thousands place, so that three is worth 3,000. And now I have two zeros in a row. So I still wanna keep my pattern. I still wanna um, keep my four, three, two, one pattern. So this zero in the hundreds place is worth three zeros. This zero in the tens place is worth two zeros, and the four in the ones place is worth one. Now, if you really wanted to, you could do 3,000 plus four, and that would be the correct answer. However, I'm not, I don't have my pattern there anymore, and it opens me up to the possibility of making mistakes. So I like to always make sure that I follow the four, three, two, one pattern for every single four digit problem that I start with. 9,050, the nine in the thousands place is worth 9,000 plus no hundreds. So that's worth three zeros, four, three, a five in the tens place is worth 50. So I got four, three, two, and a zero in the ones place gives me one zero there to complete my pattern. Four, three, two, one. And last one here. Now, I could, if I wanted to, I could just say 3,000 equals the value of the three in the thousands place, which is 3,000. But like I said, I still like to make sure that I show my pattern plus zero, 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 plus zero, zero, plus zero. So I still have my four digits, three digits, two digits, one digit pattern.